hello and welcome friends how are you in this video i'm going to discuss about format of anticipatory bail application friends uh, if uh, you are unaware then let me tell you that there are two kinds of offenses one is bailable one is non bailable non bailable doesn't mean that you are not going to get the bail but when you go to take the bail there are certain offenses where you get the bail immediately for example if due to some xyz reason you are being called by the police and you are getting arrested then in that offenses you will get the bail like 324 so that is for fighting for uh, beating a person now when the offenses are very serious then those offenses are called non bailable non bailable in the sense that you will not get a bail in the police station you will the person who is facing that uh, case will get arrested he will be presented before the magistrate court that court is going to maybe remand him in the police custody for one day or depending upon how serious the offense is thereafter that person will be remanded in the judicial custody and then he can apply for the bail so in non bailable offenses also the person gets a bail but he needs to follow procedure of getting he need, he will be arrested he will be remanded in police custody he will go to jail then he can apply for a bail so if the person wants to safeguard himself from all these issues that is the trauma of getting arrested then the person files anticipatory bail as soon as the person is aware or his anticipating that he may be that person may be arrested in a non bailable offense what is the significant and most important argument in an anticipatory bail application that is custodial interrogation is not required for the person that is the most important argument secondly don't make anticipatory bail application as a mini trial no need to submit lot of evidence but definitely it will depend upon case to case basis what you can do is that i am going to share with you a small format of anticipatory bail application but making an anticipatory bail application is not a diy like do it yourself because even if you draft it it's not recommended for yourself to go and present it you can take assistance of a lawyer depending upon what is your budget and how serious the matter is if you need any assistance related to anticipatory bail then uh, you can message me on my whatsapp number you can also comment on the youtube and i'll try to assist you my name is samir and i'm based at mumbai and if you are in mumbai i'm happy to help you and if uh, you can come and meet me and if you are not in mumbai you can give me a call and i will always try to assist you with a smile so all i want you to do is that like the video and do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching bye bye take care